Cakewalk versus Audacity. What's the difference? All right, this is going to be very quick. I've seen this question come up a few times now, and I decided to make a real quick video to cover it. I'm Zane, welcome to Simple Green Tech, and I've linked to both of these programs in the description so you can easily click and check them both out for yourself. Now at first look, Audacity and Cakewalk by BandLab may seem very similar. Both are free programs designed to work with audio, and they both record and edit audio, use effects, and do multi-track recording. But that's kind of where the similarities end. In addition to all of that, Cakewalk can also work with MIDI and load virtual instruments where Audacity can't. Cakewalk can also record more audio inputs at the same time. It also uses ASIO drivers, which allows for lower latency recording. And I also find the workflow of Cakewalk to be much easier when doing multi-track recording. If you're working on music and creating songs, Cakewalk by BandLab might be the better choice for you. Audacity is great for podcast recording and editing or recording single inputs like your voice, guitar tracks, or whatever. Plus, you can do some quick edits and get great sounding audio with it. Audacity is also a little easier to get started using, but for working on multi-track music projects and needing to use MIDI, Cakewalk is the champ here. And with these added features, there will be a bit bigger learning curve in Cakewalk, but it's well worth it. Now, if you want to check out my Cakewalk by BandLab tutorials, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube thinks you should watch next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching for Simple Green Tech. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.